Hi, welcome to today's video about septosecond science, which is beyond attosecond physics. This is an attosecond, and it's n to the minus 18 seconds. It's a quintillionth of a second, or a billionth of a billionth of a second. The atomic unit, time uses 24 attoseconds, your atomic physics. And this is a nice movie of uh, Aurora over Australia, which is an example of or attosecond uh, phenomena, because the electron ionization and the recombination in the oxygen molecule happens, happens in uh, attosecond uh, time periods. The green light comes from the ionization of the oxygen molecule. Uh, there's one uh, obvious question, uh, what's next after attosecond physics? And that's the septosecond. One septosecond uh, Zs is 10 to the minus 21 seconds. This is one uh, basic phenomenon uh, which is unique for quantum mechanics. That's quantum entanglement. You can see this in this picture. A laser beam, high energy laser beam. A photon is converted into two uh, photons. And quantum entanglement means um, you have a group of particles, for example photons, and their properties are not independent from each other. They have, um, their properties are are dependent on each other. That's entanglement. And uh, there are two types. Um, type 1 is the signal and idler photons. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same polarization. Uh, this in, in this picture, is, uh, this is type 2. These are entangled photons with perpendicular polarizations. This is a comparison of quantum and the classical correlations of uh, two photons. Uh, the quantum correlation is at the left. Uh, Bicycle is at the right. Here you can see this moment uh, the two photons in the classical uh, system have uh, independent properties, but in the quantum world, uh, these photons are entangled and the uh, properties are dependent, for each, are dependent on each other. This is a SLM spatial light modulator. It's used for the generation of a light beam with a given orbital angular momentum. Um, if the modular has a flat uh, phase profile, then you get a mirror effect. And with a helical phase profile, see in a moment, now, on the spatial light modulator, you will get a beam with an orbital angular momentum. And this is how the generation works, um, generation of um, extreme UV photon pairs. This is uh, from attosecond pulse trains. And the delay of the photons was measured with a precision of 3 septoseconds. In this measurement, um, the result was that there is no entanglement between the photons, but uh, interference. And this uh, principle of the street camera, that's uh, um, the variation of a light intensity in a pulse over time, that's what uh, measured. And um, the Zeptosecond Street Camera uses uh, extreme UV pipe pulse and polarized infrared streaking pulse for measurements in the uh, Zeptosecond uh, timescale. This is one uh, such a phenomenon that's electron capture by the nucleus. Here, the inner electron is captured. Uh, in this event, uh, other electrons can be emitted. This is called Auger effect, or X rays can be emitted. And there are other in inner shell transitions that also happen at the septosecond timescale. That's why this uh, science is interesting. This is CUSP um, compressed ultra fast uh, spectral photography. It is able to make 70 trillion frames per second and 1000 frames simultaneously. The important parts are this beam splitter pair and this glass rod. Uh, they generate linearly chirped pulse train with tunable side pulses. EMD is the digital micro mirrors device. Here, uh, G from this part is a diffraction gate grating. And M is a spectral dispersion of the light. This is a model of helium, uh, atomic number two, the second most abundant element in the universe. Um, you, you can use attosecond entangled uh, biphotons 
from the two photo decay of a matter stable atomic state, from the transition from 1s to 2s orbital and back. Uh, these photons have a potential for um, ultra fast measurements in the attosecond or even in the zeptosecond uh, regions. This is a model of the molecule H2, and uh, that's the photoionization in, in a double slit experiment. And now a second uh, group of scientists has, has confirmed um, theoretically this uh, result, uh, that's the electron burst time delay of 247 zeptoseconds uh, due to the travel time of the photon between the two nuclei. This is a newly discovered isotope, the isotope 28 oxygen. It was discovered in August 2023. It has uh, atomic number 8 and uh, neutron number 20. 20 neutrons. Uh, these two numbers are uh, called uh, double ma magic numbers, magic numbers. And what's magic about them is um, conf configurations with these numbers uh, are typically uh, quite stable. And um, but this isotope uh, oxygen 28 is an ex exception because it has a very short half life, would be in the uh, septosecond uh, time period, and it is not clear why. This is the heaviest known element, uh, organeston. It was synthesized in 2006. It's an it's artificial element. It has atomic number 118. Outer electron is the seventh shell. Uh, 7s2, 7p6. So this makes it a, a member of the noble gas group. However, due to the relativistic effect, it is expected to be a solid. This is one way to make organeston from lead 208 and uh, germanium crystal. Um, there's a quasi fission of the fusion product, it happens in a zeptosecond time scale. This is a map of the Isotopes uh, to heavier elements. Organeston has uh, isotope 294. Uh, atomic number 118. Let's see about here. And neutron uh, number 176. So that's about here. And this in the dark in the middle is called Island of st Stability, uh, th which means uh, isotopes in this region uh, should be a, a bit more stable than the isotopes around this region. And this organa Organeson 294 isotope has a half-life of 0 0.7 milliseconds, but there could be more stable isotopes of this element, for example isotope uh, 302 or 313. And the problem with the super-heavy uh, um, nuclei is uh, the strong force uh, is the strongest of the four fundamental forces in physics. But it has a very short range, and in the very big heavy nuclei, the protons, protons repel each other. The neutrons have the function of a glue. That's why um, the super heavy uh, isotopes have uh, many more neutrons than protons. This is a, a Michelson type interferometer. A light is split in two beams here yeah, by this half silvered uh, mirror. Uh, one part goes this that way, other one goes that way. Then they are recombined, and you get an interference. And uh, this interference can be constructive or destructive depending on the phase. And an auto second pass train from high harmonic generation HHG was used for pump probe experiments with 12.8 auto second resolution and 680 zeptoseconds precision with this uh, principle. This is a very beautiful picture of the pore of a beetle, the electron microscope image. Uh, you can see nicely uh, these brushes. Uh, they are made of micropads. Uh, uh, they allow the beetle to stay on uh, smooth surfaces. And uh, new mi microscope, microscopes and uh, free electron lasers are Possible by um, zeptosecond coherent control of an electron by interaction of an electron beam with uh, X ray pulses that are reflected from a multi layer made of gold and cobalt. This is a carrier envelope phase CEP. 
That's the phase between the carrier wave and the position of the intensity envelope. The intensity envelope is the, in blue, dashed. Carrier wave is in black. This is a picture of five pulses. Uh, T rep is the time between the pulses. Uh, TCO is the time of phase increase and decrease. You can see uh, here we have maximum, and here we have to say maximum again. And um, this is st stabilized with a free electron laser oscillator, and that uh, gets you to the z to second time range. This is a nice picture of Nikola Tesla holding in his hands the so called uh, balls of fla flame by Warwick uh, Goebel. This is an illustration from an article in 1899. This is unquote um, The New Wizard of the West, an interview with Tesla, the modern miracle worker who is harnessing the rays of the sun, has discovered ways of transmitting power without wires and of seeing by telephone, has invented a means of employing electricity as a fertilizer, and finally is able to manufacture artificial daylight. Obviously, the writer has understood the importance of the inventions of Nikola Tesla. This is a picture one, exactly 100 years later um, from Ahmed Zivali, Zivail. He was an Egyptian chemist, the winner of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1999 uh, for his discoveries in the field of femtochemistry. One femtosecond is 10 to the minus 15 seconds. And uh, one typical phenomenon in the femtosecond time scale is the formation and breakup of chemical bonds. Uh, these are very nice examples uh, to show you that um, each uh, new generation of scientists um, works on the basis of uh, previous um, discoveries, and um, they extend the limit of knowledge to unknown territories, and that's uh, how, how science works, and that's a very beautiful thing. Uh, that was today's video about uh, depth-to-second science beyond the utter second physics. Thank you for watching. Uh, you can check out the links if you're interested. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.